Welcome to the News Pulse, where we keep you updated with the latest news from around the world. Today, we bring you the most important headlines of the day, including the latest updates on the app driver strikes and much more. At the end of the video, if the content is relevant to you, please leave your like. Your opinion is very important to us, so leave your comment about the emergence of apps and the opportunities they have generated, which are often criticized by drivers and users alike. Stay tuned! Drivers from Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash platforms are planning a mass strike on Valentine's Day to demand fairer wages. These demonstrations come about a week after Lyft announced the guarantee of weekly earnings for drivers, a pioneering measure in the U.S. ride-sharing industry aimed at attracting more drivers to its platform. Lyft stated its commitment to continuously improving the driver experience and is set to release its quarterly results on Tuesday. Drivers, classified as independent contractors, accused the platforms of retaining excessive commissions. Jonathan, a driver in Miami and part of the App Workers Justice Coalition, representing over 100,000 drivers, describes this as the largest strike ever seen. The coalition's demands include fair wages, a safe working environment, an end to unfair deactivations, quality healthcare benefits, reliable access to restrooms, and the right to unionize. Uber stated that only a minority of its drivers participate in such strikes, which rarely impact its business. CEO Dara Khosrowshahi stated last week that drivers in the U.S. earned around $33 per hour in the fourth quarter. Despite many drivers signing up with these companies to supplement their income from other jobs, some work full-time for the platforms. An individual associated with the Rideshare Drivers United Union, based in California, criticized the pricing algorithms of the companies, stating they have led to a significant reduction in drivers' wages. In 2023, the average gross monthly income of Uber drivers fell by 17.1%, while that of Lyft drivers increased by 2.5%, according to Gridwise, a company analyzing gig mobility data. Drivers emphasize that the lack of a fair wage makes it difficult to cover basic expenses. So far, DoorDash has not commented on the issue. The companies like Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash have revolutionized various sectors, from transportation to food delivery. However, the rapid growth of this business model has also brought various challenges, particularly regarding workers' rights. One of the main problems is the classification of workers as independent contractors. This deprives them of basic rights such as health insurance, unemployment insurance, and paid vacation, making their income unstable and vulnerable. The pressure to work long hours without rest, in dangerous weather conditions and with exhausting shifts, is a reality for many workers. The lack of adequate regulation contributes to this precarious situation. The algorithms used to determine fares and delivery offers are not transparent, which can lead to worker exploitation. The lack of clarity about the criteria used to set prices and payments generates insecurity and distrust. The classification of workers as independent contractors is being challenged in various countries, with ongoing lawsuits that could redefine the legal landscape for these companies. Moreover, violence against drivers and couriers is a serious problem that requires urgent measures to ensure everyone's safety. In some countries, companies have even sold or shut down their operations, citing excessive regulations that would make the business unviable. Uber in Denmark In 2017, Uber ceased operations in Denmark after a court ruling classified its drivers as employees, obliging it to provide them with labor benefits. In 2020, Uber resumed operations in Denmark after the Danish government approved a new law regulating the ride-sharing service. The new law allows Uber to classify its drivers as independent contractors but requires the company to offer some labor benefits, such as personal accident insurance and training. Uber in Hungary In 2016, Uber also ceased operations in Hungary after the government passed a law severely restricting the service. In 2018, Uber resumed operations in Hungary after the Hungarian government made changes to the law restricting the service. The changes in the law allow Uber to operate with more freedom, but still require the company to comply with some rules, such as having a legal representative in the country. Kareem in Qatar In 2019, Kareem, a ride-sharing company competing with Uber, was acquired by Uber. The decision was partly due to the difficulties Kareem faced in operating in Qatar, including government regulations and competition with other companies. Kareem did not resume operations in Qatar after being acquired by Uber. Uber operates in Qatar, but Kareem does not. Delivery Hero in Latin America In 2020, Delivery Hero, a food delivery company, sold its operations in Latin America to iFood. 
The decision was partly due to the difficulties Delivery Hero faced in the region, including high competitiveness and government regulations. Delivery Hero did not resume operations in Latin America after selling its operations to iFood. iFood is the leading food delivery company in Latin America. And with that, we conclude another edition of the News Pulse. Thank you for watching and staying informed with us. Don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all our updates. Until next time, and may you have a safe and informed day. Until the next video, take care.